Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Nord Notwork, and I'm back playing Minecraft. Um, I am playing an Agrarian Skies style, which is so much more difficult than Agrarian Skies ever even contemplated being. Uh, it's called Crash Landing. It's available through the launcher, and it's so hard, I don't really have time to talk to you at this moment. Um, I'll try and do it while I'm starting the game, but if we don't get to a quick start, we're dead. And I know that from experience, because this is my third time playing this, and it has not gone well any of those times. Um, yeah. The second time wasn't bad. I was actually kind of progressing. And then there was a glitch where this game stopped reading that I was handing in quest. So I had to restart it, and ever since then, just haven't been having a good time with it. Let's grab these. There, there. You can tell I've already done it once because I know where everything should go. Um, Let's see, I want to take this here. Yeah, through here. Um, what I'm doing is I'm digging a defensive trench completely around my base. This is going to take a few minutes, but it's pretty much the only way to survive, so yeah, just bear with me. Um, I'll keep talking while I'm doing this, though. So, yeah, the game itself is ridiculously hard. There are mobs, the likes of which you've never seen, and everything hates you, including the environment. Um, if you look at the bottom left corner, you'll see there's two meters that you don't normally get in Minecraft. The one on the top is a heat index. It tells you what your body temperature is, which is 37.2 Celsius. Uh, it tells you what the ambient temperature is, which is higher than 37.2. That's what those two little black dots are. And then the white dot tells you kind of which way you're moving. If you watch it, it'll move up and down. If the black dots are higher than the white dot, you'll go up in temperature. If they're lower, you'll go down. It's always higher during the day. During the night, it barely drops below 37. Might get to 36 once in a while. Uh, the only way to not die of heat stroke, which happens once you hit 39, is you have to keep yourself well hydrated. Now that first quest that I handed in is what's helping me do that. Um, it gave me a camel pack, which we fill with water bottles, and then it slowly replenishes your water. Uh, you can just drink the bottles themselves, but doing that, you get all the water at once, so it doesn't, like you burn through it quicker. Uh, with a camel pack, three bottles will last you about one day-night cycle. If you're just drinking the water, uh, you're probably going to need twice that. So, use the camel pack. Now, the reason I'm digging the trench is that we don't really have weapons to fight. Um, you can build wooden weapons, you can build stone weapons, but you only get about one hit with them. Same with the tools, and then they break. So the only weapon we have right now is the needle gun, which any of you guys who've played with that know how useless that is. Um, it's, it's pretty accurate, but it doesn't do a ton of damage, and the reload time in between cartridges is killer when you're facing a horde of angry creepers. So, we want to try and kill as many mobs in the beginning without having to touch them as possible. So, yeah. Let's see. be so much faster with the shovel. Should be getting there soon. Now 
Now, the only nice thing about the way these quests work is the first couple can piggyback off each other. Um, you'll see what I mean in a second. What you get as rewards from one are what you need to hand in for the next. And for the most part, you get everything that you hand in back. So, you're not really losing anything, it's just kind of giving you a little bit of a jump start. Which, you know, the game can afford to. Doing sunwise. Dead ahead. Okay. So, we're halfway there. I still need to get a tree grown before night falls. So let's see if we can hurry this up. Because, yeah, we might be midday, but it's going to be down to the wire at the end there. Too deep all the way around. There's nothing to get out. Let's put there. Let's grab that. There. Okay, so, how are we doing on the water? We're okay, we can still do these quests outside. So we're doing the easy route. There is a hard route, I do not recommend it. The easy route itself is almost impossible. Okay, so, water bottle, do I have a, I don't think I have one on me, do I? Nope. Where did I put those? So, let's hand that in, lay reward. I also need an empty bottle. So we have to make mud, which is a bottle and dirt, apparently. So, do that. And turn in our pure water to get it back and some extra bottles. Okay. Now, doing that gave us the dirt back, and it also gave us some saplings. Let's get this going. See what I mean about race against time? Come on. Grab some crooks so I can try and get some saplings back. I gotta be honest, if I didn't get a single sapling back, I was gonna have to cheat one in for myself, because if you lose all your saplings, you're screwed. I think I might even have time to do one more tree. Hopefully it's not gonna be a big one. Oh, and I got an apple from it. That's good. More saplings. Wood is really what I wanted. Oh, I got a silkworm, too. So that's off to a decent start. We got a 
break this wood real quick, and then we gotta get inside. That's stone? Okay. Let's just do that for now while I grab my glass. Okay. So, like I said, there are mobs in this that aren't in the normal game. One of which is a creeper that its explosion radius is so big, it hits you even inside of the house. And what's happening is, they are running into the... Is it dying like that? Um, they're running into the spilled fuel from the starship and igniting. And that's, I don't know, ten blocks away. And they're still hitting you with their explosion. So you can imagine what blowing up right next to you would do. seen them do that before. That was weird. And one thing I should point out, you want to make sure you move this glass. Uh, I don't know if it was intentional or not, but with the way this is originally set up, that's a spawning point. Yeah. So let's organize a little bit. Let's get our shell constructor down. Now our shell constructor is going to be how we get extra lives. Um, I wasn't familiar with it when I first started playing, but it's pretty easy. You basically just have to provide power to it and then right click it and it'll start building a new one of you. Now it's going to use more than half the power that's in here, so we're going to have to get to an engine pretty quick. Um, to do that, we need cobblestone. To get cobblestone, we either need a cobblestone generator, which is way beyond us, or we need to start sifting this dust. This dust is going to give us everything we need. Uh, it gives us ores, it gives us bone meal, it gives us salt, and it gives us stones. So, this will Dust is the only reason we have even a slim chance in this game. So let's do this for a bit. You do not want to be out there. Now, Tinker's Construct is in this, which I'm going to be making the basics for in just a second here. I want to try and get through as much of the basic setup in this first episode or two as possible. Um, because if I don't, this series is only going to last an episode or two. We will not survive. Uh, the downside to Tinker's Construct in this is that the steelworks is in it, so the more advanced tools are going to take a whole lot of work to get to. Uh, in all honesty, I might not even bother with it, because we don't really need you know, a lumber's axe or an excavator or anything like that. Uh, the basic tools will be enough. We're not going to be branch mining or anything, because it's all dust. 
Everything. How are we doing? Uh, a little bit of everything. I'm trying to keep an eye on my hunger, but you. This game has an added bonus of an advanced hunger mechanic. Um, I, I am out of water though. Um, where if you eat the same thing too many times in a row, it ceases to provide nutrition. You have to keep changing up your diet, which is to say, early game, a little difficult. Not gonna lie, it's very difficult. Let's see what we have in here. Uh, uh, the crescent hammer. Let's see. Alright, so this stuff is gonna be everything we're getting out of there for now. Let's put all the bone meal. Just to try and keep a little organized. Say I'm missing one. Dust. Grab that. Let's put those away. Let's load this. So it's going to be day fairly soon. Here's spiders above me, so that's going to be a fight in the morning. And there are modded spiders in this, um, which are horrifying. They're... You, I mean, you would think giant spiders would be bad enough, but maybe if we're really lucky, we'll get to see one of the flying spiders. That's right. Whatever sick Twisted Bastard made this mod, gave spiders the ability to fly. Some stuff, get some things. Just a little bit to get started with. Just gonna sift through this first stack. Now I'm gonna try and do a lot of the dust sifting in between, because um, I'm sure you really don't want to sit here and watch me do this for an entire episode, which is pretty much what you've done for this one, so if you're still with me, kudos. Um, yeah. Alright, that's enough of that for now. Let's throw all that. Glowstone is going to become very important. Um, to light everything up, because torches produce heat. So, if we are standing near... Let me eat one of my PJs. And a piece of jerky. Top me off. There we go. Um, yeah, if you're standing near a torch... Uh, it will heat you up. Daylight's coming. Let's try and get this Tinker's Construct stuff banged out real quick. One of those. smart about this. Uh, my extra quest book there. Okay. I hear you, spider. Whoa! See? Giant spider. Giant freaking spider. 
Because regular giant spiders aren't bad at all. It's not worth it. Not worth it. <sighs> the trick to this ditch running, you always have to make sure you have one of those holes behind you so that extra creepers can't sneak up on you. Because they'll try. Oh, they'll try. Dig our pits. And I think we'll call this an episode. Made it through the first night. I didn't die horribly. Which is always good. And yeah. So I'm gonna get to work on grinding some stuff out. And I will see you guys next time for a little more crash landing. Bye.